Hi, I'm Zach Smith. And I'm Mike Grosso. And today we're going to show you what to expect when purchasing the Expressione Suprema. First, you're going to get the box. You're going to open it up and you're going to find that it has a brief instructions. Also, you're going to have an extra box which has your DVD, your uh, brew unit switch, and your cleaning stuff in there. It comes with an extra cappuccino door, which makes for easy frothing of milk. Frothing of milk for cappuccinos. We'll demonstrate that later. So right out of the box. This is what your machine will look like when it arrives. all set up, ready to go. It's going to look like this. The Suprema features a 1.8 liter water tank with your grinder which allows for four settings. It holds 8.8 ounces of beans. Also it's constructed of ABS plastic with a stainless steel boiler in the rear. It has the passive cup warmer for keeping your shot cups warm. And then on the side you also have the brew unit which allows for easy cleaning, comes out. We'll go more over the cleaning after we also, another thing that comes with the machine, I notice, is you get your ground, ground scoop. scoop. If you're using pre-ground coffee, there's a feature here with the, the dose, single dose of pre-grounds that go in here. They also come with a, a little sugar cube holder if you choose to put sugar cubes in there. Also comes with a brush for cleaning, a bag of descaling solvent, brew unit switch, a strip of regant to test your water hardness and your instructional DVD if you have any questions. And now we're going to show you what it takes to actually start brewing. First things first, you're going to want to fill your water reservoir. It is one, holds 1.8 liters, it's detachable for easy filling. Um, also you'll notice right here you can hook a water filter onto it. it slides in, time goes over, all set to go. Now I'm going to show you how to fill the hopper, that'll be your next step. Um, your hopper, um, it's got, <coughs> excuse me, it's got four uh, micro adjustments for fine tuning your grind, as you can see. And then we fill it with some beans. So it's 8.8 .8 ounces. And also on the top, you notice there's a rubber gasket which seals tightness, keeps your, your uh, beans fresh. Um, the next thing you do before you start brewing is you're going to want to uh, get your hardness determined in your water. Um, what you do is you take your little strip you get, uh, put in a cup of cold water for about a minute. And then here in your programming mode, you're going to push the P, and you're going to scroll over, <coughs> excuse me, till you see a little drop of water. And then you're going to hit program. And whatever, let's say it said four in your little test strip, you're going to make it four. If not, you just change the number, one through five. And then once that's set, you should be all set to uh, start brewing. Hit escape, and we're ready to brew. Okay, now that our water hardness has been determined, we're going to brew a shot. And we'll put our cup down here, and we have an adjustable spout. Oop, does pull. Be careful when you do pull it down sometimes. If you pull a little too hard, it will come out. It's normal um, for cleaning purposes, which we'll show you later, but be aware that if you pull it, it will come down all the way. That spout uh, actually accommodates for a two and a half inch gap to a three and a quarter inch. Yep, simply we push it up and down, but I'm gonna push it down for a single cup. So before I brew my, my shot, I wanna check to see two things. First of all, I wanna see, I have a choice of uh, how many grams I wanna put in. Um, you push here would be seven grams, or this would be eight grams. So depending on how much coffee you want. Again, we got seven. And eight. So I'm going to go with eight grams, and I want to check to see how much water uh, my shot is dispensing. So I'm going to press program. The little cup, all your cups will start flashing, and I'm going to make a single shot. So I'll push that. It tells me that it's 40 milliliters. If I wanted to adjust it, I would arrow over. Um, we're going to stick with 40. Okay, and we're all set to brew here. Now again, I picked my eight grams, and I'm going to push for a single shot. Little clock there tells you that it's functioning, it's in the process of brewing. You hear the grinder running. Another time. There we go. Start brewing. And one nice thing about the touch screen, it does show you little things that it's doing. It'll show a little pod of water coming through it. Well, that 
this grinder's kick, brew group's kicking out the extra grounds aside. And there we go. There you go. Which one? Cup this morning. Now, next thing I'm going to brew is I'm going to brew and show you how to do double shot. Okay. Again, put two cups up in there. And again, we can adjust height if we needed to, depending on the. Now, with your, your double shots, again, you're going to pick whether you want 7 grams or 8 grams. And you're going to need to do a, uh, a single or a double double shot. So we'll do a we'll do a double uh, double shot. Starting. Again, the timer is telling you time out. It's working. As you can hear it now, it's ready to start. Uh, and show a little little cake. One thing you'll notice when it gets about, about halfway, it'll stop and it'll grind again. That's because it has to grind more coffee for the brew group to make your double shot. So that's a normal, normal function. Don't pull your cup away like when I first used it. I pulled the cup away and it started dripping. It should stop in a second. Now it'll grind again. Two perfect double shots. I'm gonna put these aside here. Eric can drink, drink those later. Okay, Zach, why don't we make a cappuccino now? Okay, for making this cappuccino, I'm gonna froth the milk, but I'm gonna use the attachment that comes from with the machine. It's the cappuccinator, and this will screw right on to the steaming wand. However, you can use the traditional method of frothing using the steaming wand, but for this, I'm gonna use the attachment. So what you're going to do is unscrew one, and then this just threads right on. Before you start, you're going to want to make sure you purge the system, because there's going to be excess water in there, and you don't want to have a watery drink. So what we're going to do is hit the steam button. It's going to give it a minute to warm up. Again, it's user friendly because it shows you like clock, little clock waiting. So like me, I'd be impatient. I'd be pushing buttons. <laughs> there you go. And that means it's ready. So what you're going to do is just turn the knob counterclockwise. Now it's starting to spit out the extra. You're going to place the end into your milk. And this swivels. And go ahead and turn the knob again. And when you're all done, you just turn the knob back. It'll be all set. And Mike, if you would, put a Make shot sure in here for me. Turn the steam off, steam function off. Now, if you notice, it's making noise, and you're going to hear the pump kick in, water making noise. You don't want to make your cappuccino draw your shot just yet, because what it's doing is it's taking water from the tank, and it's pushing it through the boiler to, to decrease the temperature of the boiler, because steam is, is 200, roughly 212 degrees. Uh, it's way too hot for coffee. Optimal temperature for brewing a shot would, would be about 200 degrees. So now we're ready for your adjust your spout. And okay, now we're going to put the single shot in. <clears throat> I hope you enjoyed this in-depth look of the Expressione Suprema. And if you want more information about this particular machine, you can call us at Whole Latte Love at 1-888-411-5282, option 1. Thank you very much.